Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm the Homestead Prepper and what you're looking at is a rather large air compressor that was given to me by a friend of my dad's. We did some uh, work for him a while back. Uh, his house caught on fire, put a temporary pole in and we didn't charge him anything because he was a friend and he ended up selling the house and he gave us this compressor. So uh, it uh, looks like it's seen better days but it does work from what I can tell it looks like it's from like around 1974 somewhere in there the 73 I uh, welded this on here with some angle iron so I can mount the disconnect and the starter the belts well, I guess they could stand to be replaced this this is uh, definitely bad it leaks here and I definitely am in need of an electrical upgrade. So let's turn it on. Well, it does work. And it does make air. Well, this is the air cleaner he had on it and this is I guess it's time for a new one and he said this came off of a 62 Falcon so uh, it's got a couple couple holes in it here and there just gonna patch it up with some weld clean up, put some rust oleum on it and get it going Okay, it's cutting off at the right pressure. Okay guys, um, I put some new belts on it. I painted this, I, I tried to weld this up and my welder, even on the lowest setting, just blew holes in it, it's warped. Of course, it's 52 years old. Um, probably, I'll just try to make a new one or you know, find something a little more updated at a uh, parts recovery yard, junkyard. Uh, I think this was free and I got about $34 in it. That's the belts, the filter, uh, that little copper tubing right there. So anyway, I need to pour a concrete pad. I'm going to bolt that thing down there and I need to run some proper electric and get rid of that mess off of there. So anyway, I just want to show you guys my project, Homestead Prepper Out. Uh, guys, I also wanted to add that um, I, I thought about you know going up and buying a uh, soda blaster and cleaning this thing up right here and restoring it and painting it, uh, which I am going to put some rust oleum on it. But uh, you know this thing is around 40 years old, and I could go through all that trouble and it could it could blow up this afternoon from using it. So uh, it, if it has a major repair that needs to be done to it, then I will uh, blast it. And paint it but otherwise I'm just gonna uh, like I said pour a concrete foundation and I'm just gonna build a little like a compressor room for it so that's it <laughs> 